India's air-to-air combat capabilities are set to take a major leap forward. The Astra Mark II, an indigenous beyond visual range missile, is nearing completion and is expected to be inducted into the Indian Air Force by 2026. Indian Air Force plans to purchase around 700 of these air-to-air missiles alongside a significant number of mature air-to-air missiles from France. With a range of over 200 kilometers, dual pulse propulsion and indigenous seeker, it's a system that could tilt the air combat balance decisively in India's favor. But why does a beyond visual range missile or the BVR as known matter so much in the modern aerial warfare? Let's try and understand this. In modern air combat, seeing the enemy first and shooting first often means winning the fight. That's the logic behind a BVR missile. These weapons can detect, track and destroy enemy aircraft long before they appear on radar or to the naked eye. A pilot equipped with long-range missiles like the Astra Mark II can engage a target without entering its missile envelope staying completely out of danger. In short, beyond the visual range capability gives an Air Force the power to dominate the skies before the first dogfight even begins. A BVR missile turns the air battle into a game of sensors and speed, not just maneuvers. Who has a longer reach has an upper hand. That's why the Astra Mark II's 200 km range is so significant. It extends India's aerial strike envelope far beyond what its adversaries currently feel, and it's made in India. The Astra Mark II's dual pulse rocket motor gives it two stages of thrust one at launch, and another during the terminal phase. Keeping it fast, agile, and efficient all the way to the target. Added to that is an indigenous RF seeker developed by Indian scientists. With this, Astra Mark II becomes not just a missile, but a milestone in India's quest for self-reliance. The indigenous seeker allows Astra Mark II to lock on to targets in high jamming environments, a capability few nations possess. But to truly understand its strategic value, let's compare it with India's neighbor, what they have. India's adversaries, Pakistan and China, have a modern array of air-to-air -air combat missiles. So what are they? Let's try and understand with the help of the video wall. To begin with, what is Pakistan having in its quiver? Pakistan is having PL-15, made in China air-to-air -air missile, which has got a range of around 200 to 250 kilometers and the platforms that use this missile are JF-17 and J-10C, both are the Chinese fighter aircrafts. And likewise, the second missile that uh, they have is the American AIM-120C-5. This is the uh, missile that is used in F-16, also supplied by the Americans, and it has got a shorter range of 105 kilometers. So these are two types of missiles that the Pakistanis have. Now, what do the Chinese have? Now, let's check out what are the missiles available with the Chinese Air Force. They have got PL-12 missile. It has got a range of 100 kilometers and it is used by J-11 and J-16 fighter aircraft. The second missile that the Chinese Air Force has is the PL-15. PL-15, same missile that has been uh, given to the Pakistanis as well. It has got a range of 250 kilometers and the platforms that use this missile are J-10C and J-20 fighter aircraft. So these two countries, that is Pakistan and China, they have got these missiles which are lesser than the capabilities of Astra Mark II that Indian Air Force is likely to get shortly. Astra Mark II's range and indigenous design ensures that India is not outgunned in the air. It levels the playing field against PL-15 
equip fighters and secures India's own technological independence. This makes Astra Mark II's arrival timely, giving India a homegrown system that can match and potentially outperform the region's most powerful air-to-air -air weapons. With comparable range and superior electronic resistance, Astra Mark II places India firmly among the world's top air powers alongside the United States, France, Russia and China. Astra Mark II will first be integrated with Sukhoi 30 MKI, followed by the Tejas Mark I Alpha and later India's future stealth fighter, the AMCA. The induction of these missiles is targeted around 2026, giving the Indian Air Force a fully indigenous beyond the visual range capability across multiple platforms. The Astra Mark II isn't just about matching enemy missiles, it's about surpassing them. With over 200 kilometers of reach, dual pulse propulsion, and indigenous seeker, it ensures India can control the fight long before the enemy has come closer. In the silent chessboard of skies, the player who sees first, strike first, wins. And Astra ensures India does both. <laughs>